What is going on guys, this is the Walkthrough King, and today I have a pretty interesting video for you guys. This video is on World War II's new update that went out today, and this update was actually really cool. This is probably one of the better updates that I've seen that has come out for World War II so far. And now what this update has is there was a Zombies v Multiplayer sort of like collaboration. So in Multiplayer there's a huge Zombies event going on right now, and there is gameplay right now on the screen of Groston House in Multiplayer, and they have the infection game mode for it and now this infected game mode is actually a really really interesting take out of all the infected game mode variations we've seen out of all the call of duties and why that is is because the actual models for the other team are actual zombie models and now this has been a pretty requested feature and it's cool to see that sledgehammer has done this they even made it to where like the zombies scream just like they are in actual zombies and so as a zombie you get a tactical insertion as well as a axe that you're running around to kill people with and on the human side of things you get two bouncing betties and then also you get the gas grenade and also on the human side every now and then care packages drop into the map and you can get any of the score streaks in this game as well as even the v2 rocket which is pretty interesting that they threw it in there then basically it's just down to the regular old infected and how that plays but all in all this is a really really interesting take on the infected game mode and the fact that they brought one of the zombie maps over that you can play in is really cool in this gameplay, I ended up going and showing off quite a bit of the map around on the outskirts area. I thought they did a pretty good job on the outskirts area. Some of the areas are really, really dark in the actual Groston House map, so you can't really see the outside areas too well. And it's just pretty cool to see this. In the second gameplay that I'm going to show in this video, it is going to show off a little bit more of the inside of the map. Not much has really changed on the inside of the map. It's mostly just the outside areas that we haven't really been able to explore too well that I was able to show off. And then in the second gameplay, I have two different matches that I play throughout this video. In the second gameplay, I go in a bit more and try and get more zombie kills than I did in the first one instead of exploring. This event as a whole is called the attack of the undead event and in between the second gameplay and the first gameplay i'm going to show some footage of what the new headquarters area looks like they ended up going and making it all zombies related in the middle of the headquarters there's a bunch of zombies that are caged up and there's fire all over the place it actually looks really cool and while well, with this attack of the undead event we're going to be seeing three different zombies based game modes in multiplayer from May 29th from now until June 5th we are going to be seeing the infected game mode. Then in June 5th we are going to see a new game mode called Horde Point. And what Horde Point is, is it is a hard point game mode except it has an undead twist. Where you capture the hard points with your teammates and then you gotta defend them from the enemies as well as Nazi zombie attacks. So I'm not sure if the enemy team becomes Nazi zombies or if there's actual AI Nazi zombies running in. If that is the case where there's actual AI Nazi zombies running in, that is going to be really, really cool. Then on June 12th, there's going to be the third game mode that they're bringing in called Relic of the Undead. And in this game mode, it's basically gridiron, except you just hold the ball instead of trying to go and take it into one enemy's side. So those game modes are actually pretty cool. Once the new game modes come out, I'm going to try them out and probably upload a video on them showcasing what they are like. Then they also added in a bunch of new weapons in this update. They brought back the PTRS, which I haven't had a chance to try out yet, but I do really want to try that out and see what it's like and see if it's anything similar to the World at War version that we played with. The Stringer LMG was added in along with the Fire Axe that we saw from the Infected game mode. There's a Claymore Sword, a Blunderbuss, and a Lever Action, and that wraps up all the new weapons that they added in. It's actually pretty cool that World War II adds in so many new weapons each update and they're actually pretty easy to obtain where it's not like locked behind a paywall where you have to either play a ridiculous amount of hours or pay for them. Well, this event goes on till June 26th and all in all this event is actually pretty cool. This is one of the better events that they have done and I've actually really liked this event so far from everything that I've tried out and looked at it. And they also ended up adding in a bunch of zombies related multiplayer gear like there's a bunch of face camos and outfits that are zombies related that actually look really nice. And from here on out those outfits don't really look World War II era specific and I actually kind of hope that going 
on for the end of the game cycle, they start adding in a bit more creative camos and possibly even allow the moving animated camos that we've seen in zombies to be able to be used in the multiplayer side. And then one final change that I want to bring up is that Master Prestige players are now getting a 300 login bonus instead of the normal login bonus, which is pretty cool because the more invested time that those players have put into the game, I feel like they should be rewarded more for continually playing the game and investing so much time into it. Anyways, that pretty much wraps up this video. I will be covering all the zombie event stuff that goes on with this World War II event. For the rest of this video, I'm just going to let it play out the rest of this gameplay match of Grosten House Infected. As always, I'm the Walkthrough King, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Captured V2 rocks! Cook those crops! Move.